is when it comes to product being manufactured, is China still by far the cheapest? In terms of competence of doing these kind of products, they are the number one at the moment. I couldn't yeah. think of any other country that has the same competence to do this. David, thank you so much for coming in to us and you've brought product. Yeah. Right? We love product. Yes. So, company is Ulox. Correct. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so Ulox is a company for wireless charging products okay. and uh, we have actually a passion for wireless charging because we believe that the future is without cables and cords. So all these smartphones, wearables, laptop computers that we have in the future will be charged completely wirelessly. So sick of cables at the moment. Oh, exactly. exactly. The worst yeah. things yeah. in the world. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. many iPhone cables a month do I break? Too many. <laughs> Too many. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't yeah. blame the cables. I blame for those. Right. Like slightly. you can't pull the wire out of yeah. your phone like yeah. that. Exactly. With my teeth. So, yeah. Um, but we we had chatted. I'm trying to hold back how excited I'm about this, so it doesn't come across mm. ridiculous. But I had uh, spoke about a story two weeks ago back in Dublin for Dublin Tech Summit. In a like obviously on social media all day at the summit, and went to a bar. Had no choice but to put the phone behind the bar. Yeah. And I spent maybe 30 minutes just beads of sweat yeah. coming down going, if that 1600 pound iPhone goes missing from behind yeah, that yeah. bar. Yeah. Uh, and I actually. Or went, someone even seen your messages. That's more me. I don't want people seeing yeah, your messages. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm keep your privacy. Yeah. yeah. But I, I was talking about it. I'm kind of nervous with my phone up there to the people I was with. And I said, I just want to test something before we go. So I purposely choose a different bar, man. I went, I think I left my phone behind yeah. the bar. And he goes, Is it this one? I said, Yep. Yeah. And that could have been yeah. anybody. <laughs> yeah. Could have been anyone. Yeah. And, yeah. and I had said, why doesn't every single table in every single bar, restaurant, coffee shop, co-working space just have this? Because yeah. it just makes so I much sense. I think they're working for the wrong company. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they used to be sitting over that side. Yeah, paid yeah, promotion. Yeah, yeah. But it genuinely, it's, it, it's brilliant. Yeah, it? it is. Yeah. Where, did the, where did the idea initially, initially come from? So um, we were looking into different technologies because uh, we, we all, like we're three, three founders, we're three co-founders. Um, my partners Ralph and Pascal, uh, we're a German company based in, in Munich, uh, we have an office here in, in London too, and uh, we have come up with the idea because we saw that and thought like how handy would it be to have wireless charging integrated in a power bank. And then we started designing um, this first product and it's... Um, it's Is this the first one? It's the first one. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's a portable wireless charger slash power bank and it charges your phone completely without connecting any wire, any, any cables to that. Yeah. And uh, you just pop your phone on top of that and um, it starts charging. And I like the way it grips onto it as well it's, so it doesn't fall brilliant. off. Exactly. It has yeah. these little suction pads that keep the phone like in the position when you put it in your bag or when you just carry it around. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's quite handy because uh, even putting the, a regular power bank, the cables and throwing it in your backpack, again, broken cables. Yeah. Yeah. It can be you know, quite an even worse broken phone if, it's, yeah. if it goes like that. The, the product itself here, the power bank, is great. But the other product you brought in is even arguably more impressive, which is mm. the the built-in charger at the table. Exactly. So it's uh, we call it Ulux Air because um, it can be built into any tabletops, into any bar tops, and it charges through actually um, the material. So you place your phone on top of that and start charging. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we have developed this product um, in the last um, three, four, five months now. And uh, now it's we have uh, pre-production samples already, and we're starting rolling it out at the moment. You're in the position now, like at the moment, you go into a coffee shop or a bar or whatever. And even if they do supply plugs, yeah, is it close enough to even where you're sitting? Yeah, right. Because like you, we all know that the cable you get with an iPhone is about that yeah, size, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. so you can't even use yeah. it properly. And you need something that's like on the on the desk or not. So at least with those, if they're built into the desks, mm -hmm. right, your your phone like is actually literally sitting there. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Also, um, bear in mind the uh, compatibility problems, like between an Android phone and uh, um, yeah. an Apple phone. Like you need different plugs. So in this case, wireless charging is one standard. You just place your phone and start charging. So no more. Uh, Worries about is it USB, yeah. micro USB, yeah, yeah, USB C, yeah. or a lightning cable? Well, that charge all phones. So like, does exactly. your phone have to be set up for wireless charging? Yeah, um, it has to. It has, it to, has, to, it has to have that. Okay, um, all feature. Right. Yeah, and um, Apple started doing this since the iPhone eight. So and everything okay. that's above, and Samsung even earlier with the Samsung Galaxy S six. I think that was the yeah, first. It's just a standard phone. ongoing. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a yeah. it's a growing market. Yeah. It's like more and more people have wireless charging phones, and more and more the demand is growing. Also yeah, it was a bit of. There's definitely a bit of separation anxiety with, with, with your phone. Because it's such yeah. a personal thing that yeah. has your whole life on it, basically. Exactly, yeah. Something you don't tr I don't trust is the, the little lock boxes yeah, in, yeah. in, in, shopping, yeah. in, in yeah. shopping malls. Well, I they're normally hidden off down somewhere anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you, plus, you can't, check, uh, you can't check your messages or you can't make any, any actions on your phone, right? Yeah. When, it's, when it's locked in a, in a thing. 
far away from you. So you, yeah. you, you trust your wallet in there more than you would your I phone. Would. Exactly. Yeah. I actually would. Yeah. What was the? This is such a. As soon as you, you brought in today, it's such a, a Kickstarter product. If you want to put it that way, right? It's yeah. Just, you went through a Kickstarter campaign. We did. Yes. Last year we had a Kickstarter campaign in July. We raised some funds over Kickstarter and then started selling this into the market. And How much now, did you raise, if you don't mind me asking? Um, about 20,000 okay. euros. Yeah. yeah. So not big, but it was okay. Enough like to get our, you started. Yeah. yeah. Our target was 15,000, so it was okay. Um, and um, it actually paid for the initial cost that we had, like toolings and everything that we had to pay. And then we started producing, and um, ever since then, it's been listed on Amazon. We, it's our main sales channel is Amazon. And we sell it in five different countries. So. It's actually nice to see a company that's a launch kind of going, like, how much do we need? 15,000, right, let's go. Because yeah. you know, you normally get companies in there, how much do we need? Uh, at least 30 million to start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Come on, come yeah, on. No, it's, uh, well, some, some, some companies might be that successful, but yeah. uh, I think not in that case. Yeah, but, but it's interesting with the, with the product, right? What's the IP in it? Is the sticky pads, is that the, yeah. that's quite it's cool. the design, it's the design, everything about this. Like we designed this, this product completely um, so that it's, it looks quite, um, I would say appealing. That's yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it has these suction pads. These are RIP two, and uh, yeah. I mean, wireless chargers. There are already some on the market, like even some that look similar to this. Mm. But um, with the suction pads and very like latest tech also included has power delivery and quick charge. These are all the latest standards to charge your phone yeah. really quickly. Well, I think it's such an open market. Like I know there can be competition out there, but if you think how much competition there is out there, I know when it comes to phones, it's either Samsung or it's Apple, yeah. but you've still got your, you know, your, your many types of Apple, your many types Correct. of Samsung, your many yes. types of Android. So like even with an extra charger, it doesn't matter if someone else is already doing yeah. it. With the other uh, charge that we've been talking about that's built into the table, mm -hmm. like what is the plan for you with that, with that, because like basically, you get into a McDonald's or you get into a Starbucks yeah. or whatever it might be. Yeah. That's you kind of go done. We've yeah. done it right. That fifteen thousand just yeah. That'd be the yeah. perfect scenario. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. Yeah. how easy, how hard has it been for you, or are you ready yet to go knocking on those doors? It's 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 quite difficult. I mean, um, because uh, we're not the only company who does that, of course. Okay. Um, uh, we do um, at the moment we run um, a little pilot with uh, WeWork. Um, to just another test big it. monster to get yeah. into, yeah. Of course, yes. And um, with um, two more coffee houses at the moment too. So we just try to um, convince them like our product is great. Like yeah. people use that. There's there's the usage of, of these products and also the demand from the market because um, more people upgrade their phones and the probability that there are wireless charging ones is pretty high. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's it's a growing market at the moment. How far off are we just complete over air charging? as in several several feet uh, of... Uh, well, the, the technology here used is, um, at the moment, um, the technology is um, an electromagnetic field that is has a very uh, low distance. So mm. it cannot be farther away than, let's say, two centimeters or something. It has to be like quite close. Mm. Just like your electric toothbrush is in the yeah. bathroom. It's been using that technology for 20 years at least. Mm. Well, that's so, probably a good thing though, is it? Because otherwise there's frequencies everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I think that would be dangerous actually. So yeah. there's no... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what's, what's wrong with the yeah. 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 yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. So if it travels a long distance, like everything in between will probably be burned. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it's, um, so there's no technology standard yet. But um, maybe in the future there will be. Um, I don't know. So, but it's it's still like limited to very short yeah. distance. Can can we talk a bit just about the actual process of getting a product manufactured? Mm -hmm. What does that process look like? Is it is it you need to actually with a product like this for cost wise fly to China, go to a factory, get the tooling, or or do you remotely do that? What yeah. what way does that look? So what we did, we uh, were actually we did a benchmark in the market what's existing, and um, then we found um, a Chinese partner that we work together with now. And is all of this being produced in China? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I guess. Um, and uh, one of my partners, he's an electrical engineer, so he designed everything. He um, he designed. He also. Um, put together all the specs, all the mm. specifications that you need for that product and made sure that everything that we want for the market is the highest standards and that yeah. it's produced in a, in, a, in a good manner. And um, you need to have someone there that actually checks the quality because product if you just control. go and just mm. order anything, then you might just get anything. I mean, yeah. Uh, you, you may want to make sure that it's really like um, complies with all the standards that you need to get it into the EU or into yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. How, strict, how strict are those standards? Of, of they are pretty strict mm. actually. So um, there's a lot of tests that you have to go through to get an approval for these kind of products because it's, it's, um, it's, um, 
it's, it's electronics. Yeah. The so Samsung, the the Samsung scandal yeah. last exactly. year. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, overheating is, is quite a, a big uh, concern mm -hmm. with these products. Um, and so you may want to make sure that um, you have enough um, you have enough uh, research done on this to yeah. actually make sure that it doesn't overheat. Is when it comes to product being manufactured, is China still by far the cheapest? Um, I, I don't know. We didn't compare many other countries, but I okay. think that in terms of competence of doing these kind of products, they are the number one at the moment. I couldn't yeah. think of any other country that has the same competence to do this. That's yeah. what Tim Cook said last year. Tim Cook said mm -hmm. in the, he was asked up in the press conference for producing in China, and he said, if you think we're producing in China because it's the cheapest, no. then you're so wrong. Okay. Because they've been doing it for yeah. decades. Yeah. 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 And they have the best, yeah. the best talent, the best yeah. touring, the best work ethics. Exactly. Everything. Exactly. Um, yeah. uh, India is, the, is uh, well, he said India is by far the cheapest place to get a manufacturer, mm. but they aren't yeah. doing electronics yeah. as long, mm. apparently. But you're that's going through... That's not something that actually people think about, because yeah. straight away you do think that people are doing it to save money. Yeah, and it's, yeah. Not, it's, not, it's not the But it's the competence. It's really today, yeah. like if you want to do electronics, you have to go to China. There's no other yeah. way. Yeah. You're actually going through, we joked you didn't have far to, to, to walk when you're coming here. You're going through WeWork Labs at the moment. Correct, yes. Tell us a bit about the, because the selection process can be quite difficult for WeWork Labs. Obviously, a lot of people apply to come in. Tell us a little bit about WeWork Labs. Um, so it's an internal, we've been using WeWork ever since we started the company. So okay. um, we, we were looking for office space and we came across WeWork and we felt like, oh, that's In great. Germany or here? In Germany, in Germany yeah. yeah. And um, so we joined them back in July last year when they opened their first office in Munich. And um, ever since then, um, like we've been, we've been working quite successfully with them because it's a place where people get together, where you can exchange ideas. If you need help, if yeah. you need a graphic designer, if I need a translator, I find it there. It's, it's very easy. And um, then I heard about WeWork Labs and we applied for this and we got accepted. Um, only in March this year, and um, ever since then we've been using this in London, in Wilson Street. It's uh, it's quite a good place. They offer a wide um, variety of different things to support your company, to support yeah. your business with legal consultancies, a tax consultancy, um, pitch workshops, um, presentation trainings. There's there's a lot of things that you can actually do or cannot do. This is your choice. And yeah. I mean, it's, it's great. You get exposure. They have investors days. There's one coming up very soon. Um, so when they invite investors to come and have a look at these uh, WeWork Lab companies that they're there. Well, so you're, prob you're probably also in the best place if you are looking to sign a contract with WeWork. Go for <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Product yeah. anyway. That's also, yeah. 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 Well, look, David, yeah. we're, we're about to run out of time, but we love the product. It's Thank you super so much. cool. And we'll thanks so much nice. for coming in. <laughs> <laughs> you Cheers, can, David. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you so much.